Dave Parody here. Quick screencast uh, video just to show you how you can create an interesting new shape in PowerPoint 2003. In PowerPoint 2007 you can just select a, any shape, shape, let's say a rectangle, convert it to points and alter it. But you can't do that in 2003 but here's what you can do. So if you go down to uh, auto shapes here and then under lines select freeform and what you can do is every time you click it will put a point down and if you move the mouse then you can click and it'll draw a straight line between those two so here's what I'm gonna do click a point here move it over make sure the line is straight click another point so I'm drawing a essentially a rectangle click another point but I'll only draw three sides of it click and now I'm gonna hit the escape key and I have a shape that is missing one side. Here's how we fill it in. I right click on the shape and say close path. And it draws that line automatically from the last point to the first point. Now it's not perfectly straight. I can adjust that. Right click and say edit points. Turns each of the corners into a, a little point. Put my cursor on there. I can move it. Just slide it over until it's straight both ways. That looks good. Now, of course, you could zoom in if you wanted to, or if you had a smaller shape, you could zoom in. Now, here's the trick. I go to each of the corner points, and I right-click on it, and I, I say, make it a corner point. Now, what it does, you'll notice it at blue lines and these little middle dots. Those are Bezier curves. So I'm going to go to every one of the corners and change it to a corner point, and it'll, it'll create any Bezier curves that it needs. In this case, there's only one that it needs because the other corner has already dealt with it. In this one, it's none. So now what I do is when I click on that corner, I can take this Bezier curve point, move it in, and you'll notice how it curves the sides. And I can do that for each of the points that are in the middle, each of those Bezier curve points. And our last one here, move that in. And what I've done now is I've created a new shape within PowerPoint 2003 that I can do a lot of things with. And if you're looking to create a new shape, this may be a neat technique that you didn't know existed in 2003 to, in order to do that.